This is a magazine review of Vambarella, the brilliant Vambarella from Draculon, as it always. Vampy. I always love the way it said Vampy. <laughs> Issue 40. It was 1975. Just awesome covers. There is a book of all the covers. There's the Art of Vampirella with all the Warren publishing co covers. That's from Dynamite Books. This is obviously Warren. And there's the back cover. I just love these issues. They're quite expensive. Even though this one's quite tatty, it's not a brilliant condition one. But they are... Often you go to comic conventions and they're like 10, 20 pounds. I mean, some of them are, are quite pricey, I think. Though saying that in a couple of years' time, they're probably 100 pounds. So, but actually, one of the ways, probably the best ways to probably get all these comics is probably go into the brilliant uh, archives. There was a Vampire, Vampirella archives set, and they should be readily available. And you get quite a few issues in each of those archives. Got the letters page. One thing with this Vampirella, it wasn't always all about vampy. You had, I think it says Vampy, Vampirella, the nameless ravisher. That's the story. You've got the, and I think it's just a lovely little story. Now, the artwork is brilliant, absolutely superb. It's an unusual story, as they always are. I must admit, it's one of those ones that uh, the names, obviously, it's a it's tree that's obviously a good ravishing scene. Of thing. Uh, interpretations can be made on that one. Leopold Sanchez. And not going to get any further there. I don't want to show you the end of it. Then you go into this one, which is The Winged Shaft of Fate. Esteban Morotto, of course, amazing artist, with Dracula, no less. Dracula turns up in this story. Beautiful artwork as ever. And The Face of Death is the next one. Raymond Torrance. Uh, that's quite good, actually. But it follows the same, uh, quite, uh, it's been done to, to death, of course. It's an old cliche, but it has that storyline. I'm not going to say how it ends, but it's, uh, yeah. Now, nice bit of artwork after, more scratchy style of artwork. And there's a lot of scratchy artwork style here. Where's the story style? The Man Who Never Was. This is by Fernando Fernandez. Great name there. And uh, it's a really good, good story. Very sort of science fiction-y, fantasy one. This one is one of the best ones, I think. And I love this one. The Time Eater. That is a really nice story. And this one is a story by Jack Butterworth and Paul Neary. You see it. Just a brilliant artist, Paul Neary. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful drawn story. I just love the whole feel of it over time. And you've got this, this creature or whatever. I'm not going to say any more what happens in the story, but it's a very good story. Home for the Holidays. A sort of... Um, slightly unusual. There was a mix of stories. You'd have like fantasy, you'd have, and then you'd have a, just a, a story that didn't really fit. And this one's one like this. You just think, hmm, it's just about a story on a plane. Not going to say what happens, but it's beautifully drawn. And then you go to the end bit, which is always good. Now that was it. That was the story. So you've, there's, you know, five or six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six stories. I love the ads. Dracula. Now that one is the, I've got the uh, big chunky Nell one. This one, there was what's also a Warren one. So you've got these lovely things, spirit. Also there's lovely one here with the dinosaur colouring books. Super action figures, Planet, Planet of the Apes, of course. Monster kits, just brilliant. Also the Star Trek. I mean, I expect most of these are super collectible now. Mr. Spock, superhero pins. Here, obviously, all the comics. And then you've got comics at the back. Magazine. So, Vambrella, I just love these issues. And how many pages? There's about 80 odd pages, 80, 84 pages of really decent 1975 period comics. And I think Vambrella is a great series, along with Eerie and Creepy as well. And of course, they had a few other ones as well. So, Great magazine.